Well, for your health, even people who don't consider themselves claustrophobic might find getting an MRI a nightmare. But what if you could cut the time you spend in that tiny tube and get a more accurate diagnosis? NBC4's Kathy Varr explains how artificial intelligence is helping. I suffer from anxiety and claustrophobia, so this is great news to me. Catalina Filipakis has been getting regular MRIs for the last couple of years because of a condition affecting her arteries. My palms start sweating the morning off, to be honest. Even with medication to calm her nerves, it is a struggle every time. I don't want to sound like a druggie, but I do here and there have to take a tiny bit of a Xanax if it goes over an hour. But thanks to new technology, there may be a light at the end of that very tight tunnel for Catalina and millions of other patients. More radiologists are now using artificial intelligence to enhance imaging, which means less time in the MRI machine that can make some people feel suddenly claustrophobic. Of all the AI technology that I've ever seen, the single most revolutionary piece of AI technology is what we call this deep learning for image reconstruction. Dr. Susie Bash, medical director of neuroradiology at Radnet, says this technology makes the scanning process 50 to 75 percent faster and even more advantageous. It increases the quality of the images, which can lead to a more accurate diagnosis. It's a win for patients. It's a win for radiologists. It's also a win for imaging facilities because they can scan more patients a day. Hearing that possibly this could be done in half the time, that's great news to me and I'm sure to many people that are going through the same thing. Experts like Dr. Bash hope the promise of getting in and out of the machine quicker with a more quality image will encourage people who need MRIs to get one. As often you do these MRIs and sometimes if they don't turn out well, you may have to go for seconds. So if the quality is better, I mean, there's just positive to it. So I'm very excited. Kathy Vara, NBC4 News.